Well, music is um, in my mind. Right now, it's in the back of my mind. I'm often touched by music very much, and then I imagine I react like everybody, but something I'm not touched very often, that's my own music. I mean, uh, I, I never listen to my music uh, thinking, oh, what a beautiful music. That's not possible, unfortunately. But I can, uh, I can admire very much the performers, and that uh, gives me a lot of pleasure. There is this very solitary aspect to her work, and all these hours she spends in her room refining sounds at a very high level but it has all opened up in a very uh, generous way in the past years, I feel. So when I imagine music, even if I imagine it uh, very physically for certain instruments or voice, and I imagine it it's resonating in the body of the singer, still when I then hear it, it's always more. Until that moment, everything was very private. It was in your mind, it was in your studio, you wrote it note by note on the paper, and then you deliver it and you communicate it to musicians. And then, of course, uh, it's there when your, uh, your professionalism and uh, your handicraft is measured. It's really important that we leave imprints to the memory of the listener, which they can then relate to different things, because music is art of time, you know, and uh, if just everything flows by uh, without uh, being able to capture anything, uh, so it's very difficult. It's uh, music that seduces you into, into wanting to learn, wanting to listen, wanting to pay attention, which, like all great seductions, is uh, uh, very manipulative. You give in a little bit and then you take it away. You, you stroke and then you scratch. I think I always imagined music since uh, since I'm a child, as long as I can remember. But um, I didn't know that I was imagining it. It started uh, getting born in my mind in different occasions, and I, I loved it, and I respected music uh, very much in soul ways. So it was very natural growth into, into composition. It was rather a um, question of uh, confidence, self-confidence, and uh, growing to be confident enough uh, to do what I really wanted to do. So becoming independent of the will of my expectations, of my family, and so on. It's a very tough life. You give everything from yourself, and then it seems that everybody has the right to criticize you or evaluate what you are doing and uh, not understanding that you are all the time revealing the bottom of your soul. So um, I think uh, one should decide to take this path in one's life if one cannot live without it. She really is someone who's entire creative life is directed towards writing music and she as long as I've known her which is as long as my memories go um, she's been this very strong um, strongly focused person st strongly willed. At first I, I was thinking like everybody I was thinking that uh, 
how could I be, um, how could I do this profession because there are no women doing it and how would I, a uh, um, shy uh, girl, be able to, to be strong enough to do it? I did not have approval but then um, at some point I had very strong feeling of necessity and um, kind of desperate feeling like one can have when is around 20 years old that what what is the meaning of my life and uh, and then I realized that my meaning must be trying to compose my music